Welcome all. This is Colo5 playing Dark Souls 3 Cinders. Where we left off, I was about to make a dive to take on these winged knights, but I think I instead will just cruise past and collect the next bonfire area. bonfire really yeah it's a bit easier to take on all right we'll do it now now's a good time yeah welcome back to the series this is just me playing through this game and this mod so there's you know to make not make a liar out of me there's a the second translucent guy run out of stamina Ooh. yeah just using this as a bit of a challenge run You will kill me now? Yes, you will. I was attempting to roll out of that and not get hit, but uh, what to be? Anyway, at least we've unlocked this next bonfire, and this is a kind of a better area to approach, at least to approach the back part, to, you know, to unlock the shortcut up near the lift. You know, maybe we should be able to get there soon. Um, you know what? Just for this time being, we'll, we'll travel back. And I think I had cover it. No, I definitely did cover it. No, I what I will be showing you now is the Covenant of the Souls. Covenant? Covenant? The Champion's Covenant. <laughs> the Champion's Covenant vendor and some of the items they sell. Might even use it to fight. I'll oh, fight some of these Lothric Knights. I think I'll still take a ton of damage from them. I think it's really impressive that I'll. Um, Zena? I think its name? Zena? ZNA? I wish he was a little bit more convenient place. I, mean, I guess it's not a NPC you're going to go to super often. But I'm struggling to think now when to, how's a better way to actually get to him. Yeah, I overshot that. Oh, and there's probably there's definitely some better trading items to give to the crows from this mod as well, but um, I've forgotten what they are. So we can view inventory because that's what I'd like. Oh, I need 10 per, so I can't even get much at all from him. Wow, that was... I mean... Oh, and these are all just illusionary as well. So these don't even... That's a legitimate set of kits so that'll actually apply you... Oh, that's his armor. Yeah, you can buy your own primordial fragments. But I think to the stage, if you're farming ore stones, you're probably going to be able to get your... Uh, more your fragments from better method. Oh, well that kind of upset me a little bit. I was hoping I could at least get one of these, but that's 20 as well. I definitely think that the uh, absorption reduction is the better ones. Right, okay, well that's thoroughly underwhelming. Um, I guess we'll just continue on. Anything I can sell right now. We'll sell this. I don't want FP. Sell this. Oh, I've got, yes, this lizard skin. Lizard hide. I'm guessing the lizard hide might be a good thing to trade with the crows, but it's definitely in the wiki. You can uh, grab the information up there. Oh, I could upgrade my gear a little bit more as well. I think I will do that. Hopefully, do a little bit more damage. I probably will use almost all of these. Yep. Boulder. Side sword. That's a good reach on that one. I'm not going to use this. What's the effect of this though before I sell it? Just to parry and parry spells. I don't think I've ever really wanted to parry a spell. I think it's cool in PvP for sure. Oh, again, something for dudes who are super skilled. Honestly, I probably would need this, but. I'm just going to sell that. Only 300 souls, it doesn't really get me that far anyway, but... Oh. 
I want some more damage, honestly. And I will get it. I'll choose this one first, because this is pretty much my go-to now. I will transfer off the sword and board style. Uh, I do want to just two-hand weapons. But when I'm dying to one hits, it's not fun. And I don't want to continue to sort of die, win, rinse, repeat. I have to say, I want to progress through this area a bit more. Get through some of the bosses. More so than just uh, watching me struggle. But hey, that's uh, kind of... What do you get out of it? Do you prefer to watch me watch me uh, die over and over again, or do you prefer, me, prefer to see a bit more of this area? Put it in the chat. Yeah, let me know. I'll uh, I'll just try and uh, get good, as they say, and just uh, nah, it's good fun anyway. Oh, I did not think you were that aggro yet. Should I just run and try and kill Vort and then get Embered up? You know, I don't think I might actually do that. I honestly think Vort's easier than these guys. I, I speak now. Yeah, I probably will die. But um, definitely that blue knight over the side there. And I think... Oh, should I run and get it? I've just upgraded. Do I? A few things going through my head now. I'm trying to remember the placement of the straight sword, which is not there. I think I have to kill that blue knight to get the straight sword. And it's unlikely that that will occur. Yes, you buff up, and you definitely will one-shot me. Oh, I didn't even get that strike off. Doing next to no damage, even with that... I, I mean, I upgraded it once more, so I think this is plus three now. This is definitely why I need the poison. I'm not saying poison or stack or anything, but it's just... Um, safer way to get damage to increase pretty much to increase my dps really let me backstab you even though it does next to no damage Should have known that was gonna reach me. It's got a ridiculous reach. I've never seen him buff up twice, but that's just how long it's taking me to kill this guy. Good timing. Oh, again. This the uh, cheeky. Yeah, if I was two-handing this, and if I tried to block any of those strikes, they would have definitely killed me. The amount of staggering how much stamina, I think it was a pretty hefty stamina bar. I think it's probably, it's probably the most stamina I've ever had for, like, this area. Obviously, we've talked about, well, the last episode we talked about how I've kind of stacked a couple of bonuses, so I've got a semi-upgraded, uh, semi-upgraded effect. Do we buffing three times and the covenant's giving me another 15 percent that was mistimed if he had done that lunge that lunge strike that was poor time and i will die there oh. it's just saying how lucky i was that he wasn't doing a thrust then all right i'll run through i'll grab my souls and then i'll go i just wanted to see if he dropped this straight sword the lothric straight sword because that would be a little bit of an upgrade Probably downgraded damage immediately because I haven't upgraded it and I've got upgraded. What have I got this on to now? Level 2. Oh, and so we didn't level up or anything, so it's almost it's the same stats. Well, in the last, in the last I gave a yeah, couple more levels. But, um, that was really poor time. Really vibing on this music now. It almost makes me make me think of uh, one of the one of the little themes from Avatar: Last Airbender. Let me know if you're uh, feeling the same or I'm completely off base. Is there another outrider here? There is. Ooh. Or is 
Oh, and there's a mimic. Okay, so this is all horrible. I'm not gonna attempt that because that outrider is definitely gonna. I honestly think that outrider is probably gonna be hard to reward. Again, I really hope I'm not mistaken right now. Uh, usually tackle vault with a lot of damage output, so you only really get to see a little like you know his first fade's pretty easy to get through. Then he rages, and I just have to uh, um, really position myself well to avoid that that hitbox. But then he's almost dead. But look at the stat put damage output that I'm doing. Now look, I can't stop thinking about it, but uh Elden Ring, it's looking like and I I I sorry, my point is it's looking like that uh there'll be some specific play styles, there'll be certain abilities that will be a bit more secure like where you might be able to do some more flourishes, you might be able to uh, like kick enemies up in the air or, or you know, take them down in different methods. Uh, uh, more of a uh, sort of combo style or things like that. Um, seeing one of the uh, sort of spear lunges which is not too uncommon from Dark Souls but uh, just sort of it reminded me of the spear um, tool, the ninja tool, what do you call it, the arm uh, tool that um, Sekiro had. Anyway, but um, yeah, that's, you know, it's definitely seeming that Elden Ring's a culmination of all these sort of games, but I was just I was super impressed, really, and that was super, uh, really encouraging, really happy for that a AAA developer kind of did this experimental sort of game. Uh, Sekiro was very kind of out of the way, it was uh, more of an action um, game than it was an RPG, more like the these the soul schemes. Yeah. He didn't do his breath attack. I usually like the breath attack because it gives me a chance to get a lot of damage in. Usually I just kill him on that breath attack, so it's only on the like pretty quick fight. But I might actually see a second round of this rampage. It was actually really good. I was you know I didn't say anything but Yep, I knew one of those was I was a little bit too close for comfort. Oh, yep. As I was saying, I was going to get another round of his Rampage. His Rampage is definitely the Achilles heel for me. Other than those strikes where I never really gauge the hitbox. Yes, do breath attack. I'm not going to kill him off this breath attack, though. Oh, I'm getting a little damage out, but don't get greedy. Oh, I killed him. Yep, see? So, well, it's much easier than... And I'll be embed up again, so... I don't think I'll use. Yeah, I think. Oh, yep, yeah, wrong. Got turned around. What I was saying is, I'm really impressed that Sekiro just like, particularly even the just the way the combat was. It definitely shocked me. It shocked. Well, a lot of the community it took a little while to get the parry timing, get the sort of rate of attack. Um, but it definitely. Oh, I'll show you what this does. I, I usually like this shadow set in PvP. It makes you near invisible. I could probably actually use this for some little sneaky runs, particularly because I'm so still squishy. And I'm pretty sure the gauntlets make my weapon invisible. Yep, sweet, so my weapon's now invisible. Cool as for early PvP especially. Especially, yeah. I love that vista, look at that. And, and definitely on convergence, there's just so many screenshotable artful positions it's just amazing the amount of like additional work to atmosphere to lighting and and honestly yeah you'll probably open it and just go oh why is everything um so dark that's definitely the response that i had when i first booted up uh convergence honestly this outright is probably going to kill me more than anything else i wonder if i can can i go over here and you not see me and i'll just kill this mimic because i'm pretty sure in this Somewhere around here, there'll be the Lothric Straight Sword. Now, we're back on topic. The Sekiro, uh, when it first came out, I was definitely, like, I just thought, how good is this? This was at the time that I was still thinking as well that I would love to see AAA games be able to branch out. So, uh, yes, it's not like a, uh, a GTA now. It's a pretty much a well-established um, franchise. And, and if anyone got a 
version of that game, you know, if GTA 6 comes out and it's like, I don't know, it's something completely different, completely off the rails, then um, I can't even suspect. Right, let's say it's like a, a Mars farm or something like that, completely off the, you know, standard sort of American uh, city where you can go around and pretty much, you know, do your own um, sand, uh, sandbox play sort of thing. It's really why I see it. Obviously, oh, I'm gonna run away now. I'm really glad I killed Bullet before trying to kill you because now, uh, hopefully, my stamina cheese. Yeah, as a result from being frosted, my stamina's taken a while to get back. But no, obviously, there's there's expect expectation from your your player base, your community, your 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 consumers. And for some games, some series, they can't take any risks. And I expect expect that. Like uh, that's okay. But I love when they're able to use a different IP. And obviously, even now, ideas and ideas, it, it can be hard to to um, to have new ideas, new names. Oh, are you sure I time that well? But I did see that, and even Deracine, I don't know if everyone really remembers this game, it was a VR game from software I had made, and I was really curious, because that did, again, it released a little bit earlier than Sekiro, the way I remember it, but what it was, was a kind of a little, uh, it was kind of a ghost story player, uh, story, um, story driven game, where you would use your VR abilities, and navigate around the world as a bit of a spirit and, and interact with uh, living people and uh, items. Um, I may be completely forgetting some of the components of that, but uh, I'm going to use them. Let's just to speed some of that up. My recovery up, I should say. And uh, I was really curious as to what they were going to do with it. And uh, so far, I'm not. I'm still not completely sure about where that was actually going, but I I saw it as a bit of a experimental gameplay type thing and uh, it's definitely not a game that I, I was going to get into but I did like the guys who covered it. I know Vardy Video covered it. Um, not for a law, obviously a law speaker. I mean that, that, that guy's absolute bread and butter and um, he did that well on Jurassic Day. Well, as he does most things but that's the way I consumed that game. Or I uh, found out what it was about. I did kill that thing, did I? I totally forgot. Yeah, so... I mean, I guess, um... I'm interested to see if um, there's possibility in the future for other big companies to be able to be games companies to have... And I, maybe, maybe I'm just aware, maybe it's my ignorance that I don't really know what like, AAA devs give to indie I mean, there must be education, there must be sort of, uh, must be like internships I stuff or academy uh, type learning, because I mean, they definitely will want to increase the amount of new blood, new ideas, new skill sets um, of young. You know? I guess I'm thinking this because, you know, myself and others are going through additional education at the moment, but um, no, I guess HP recovers restoring actual, well, that could be good because I mean I do put a lot of attacks on a lot of enemies, might be better than putting faith, that's just, well, I should probably do that instead of it, that's just, I'll probably regret that in a minute because my Estus is my emergency source of damage. That was a lot of arrows. Some of those, if they had connected, which that one just did. Oh, what do I do here? I will rest. Oh my jeez, I have poorly done this. And now I will need that accessory back on to increase my health. There's just so many enemies here. My curiosity is coming up with um, the new Saints Row game that's going to be made, which is a pretty much real reboot there. I'm just 
been curious because I was kind of happy they did a reset because I did like Saints Row 3 as much as it kind of had its issues but to me I felt I enjoyed I could get into that sandbox far better than GTA 5 and honestly I tried to boot up GTA 5 and it was uh, the whole thing is set up with one of my old um, email accounts and now I can't reboot it so that's just me and me issue but I was wanting to play it on my brand new rig because there's definitely I you know, definitely missed out on a good amount of fidelity or a good amount of graphics and detail uh, from that game but I don't know I just I just didn't get in the hype but I guess there's a whole there's a whole online player base there that obviously um, I, is completely different than the, oh you should not have chased me down I don't want to lose my and I was going to anyway oh this Captain Morel he's a hard character as well I was interested to just I was just going to show you how how difficult those translucent guys are I mean you did see that me strike one of them in my first episode did absolutely no damage I might come back to that later because that is just it's going to be hard it's going to take Good while as well. You know, what? I'm just gonna pop one of these guys as well, because honestly, this with the challenges that have inflicted now, I think some of the bosses will be easier than some of the uh, just playthrough areas. Yeah. No. So I said, uh, you know, call me a bit of like a you know, just like a popcorn. I don't know fan or whatever, but uh, or just liking the arcadiness. So I definitely know. Uh, that that Saints Row is less successful series than GTA. 100% will agree that. Tans down. I'm not gonna argue that point at all. I just uh, I enjoyed Saints Row 3, but Saints Row 4 it was just it just got silly. I mean, you know, it's it's a whole whole premise of Saints Row is just it's all it's all humour left, right, and centre, and they do it well. Like they definitely know how to stay within their okay, yeah. They definitely know how to stay within their wheelhouse, and I praise them for that. That's really good. The humor is solid. Like it's, it's cheap, but it's, it's good. You know what I'm saying? I just, I'm, I'm gonna be interested to follow the, re much, uh, reset of that series, and it's going back to on the streets, starting out with sort of nothing. I mean, obviously, you probably can see that from myself right now. Is that I'm liking that challenge. I didn't think he was aggravated on me, but obviously he is. And uh, oh, I can't hop down there. I was hoping just to skip past him. I can skip past him this way. Yeah, so I do like that idea that you, you start up with no money, no sort of weapons, no resources, no cars or anything, not even any any members of your gang. Love the iframes and lift and stuff. Such a good... Uh, yeah. And... Oh, what's his name? Matthews... I kind of... It's really bad at remembering people's names or YouTube's names. Good. I think he's Italian. Uh makes really good um, parodies some of his content's great and he just continues to make good work as well Stanton? Uh, I don't know I'm going to lose my Estes my sorry my Cinder uh, I don't even think now anyway no yeah so I'm going to I'm going to definitely check out I mean it's got a long way to go there's only got a couple of trailers out and they're not any gameplay so I'm sure that game's at least a year away oh I was hoping you were going to get squashed oh not squashed but I, thought you... I don't know how I've survived this oh and I almost died there as well I think I'm just going to bolt through this next area yeah so you... As I was saying, oh, I mistimed that ter terribly. I was sure he was going to release that earlier. So yeah, that that guy's horrible. I mean, in one of my earlier playthroughs, not on this series, but oh god, you're still chasing me. And he's red-eyed up as well. I don't, I'm not sure if all transits are red-eyed as well. But, uh, oh, I'm stuck. And you're stuck. This is just horrible. And I've got no Estus. This is what Dark Souls is all about. <laughs> Oh my. Out of all the things I dodged, that sh the, the iframes and the, my positioning should have gotten around that swing. That's horrible. I will attempt to bolt to the next. the next bonfire. But no, that moment there, we just had no Estus, all the enemies around, low health, 
But it's definitely the experience that you want out of Dark Souls. Are you going to close that? Is that going to close again? Of course it's going to close. It should close. Maybe it's just killed the NPC who usually closes it. Nope, that, that was a mistake. It's yeah, probably just a... Oh, it's going the other side. I mean, at least he cleans up. I mean, this could be another area we can farm. I mean, that, that bonfire is just there. And this guy takes quick work. Honestly, he probably makes a quicker work out of those enemies than that dragon does from the earlier oh, that last episode I was showing that farm method and I'm sure that that guy packs that punch so hard so uh yeah boost up all those damage multipliers and get some souls and, and get some of those uh, upgrade equipment uh, items I mean he yeah, even just on spawn he's attacking those so I'm sure he'll get I mean yeah with that said I haven't got any of the um any of my little dragon items oh Whoa! Sorry for that. Oh, he's just ridiculous, isn't he? And he always like aggro's up so. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. Wonder if I could put on the thief stuff. Maybe that's why they give it to you there. I'm such a bad Souls player in that I just pick up stuff without looking at it and just go, oh, after I kill the next boss, I'll come back and I'll just check out all my gear. But I would never, I'd never remember that. I mean, obviously this is in the mod, but um, even the mod's got a little bit of, uh, you know, it's inspired by Souls. So let's hopefully see that this won't get him aggroed on me. Wow. Oh, no, he is. Yeah. And maybe that's running in proximity to him and that. But that has definitely helped my sneakiness. I am not aggroing as much stuff. And yes, I do see that sparkly up, up there. Oh, I probably could get that now that... No? Okay. Just doing things in the complete wrong order. There is a lot of... That's a decent amount of gear up there as well. There is a lot of um, sparklies on these corpses. Corpses? The hanging bodies? Uh, more so than in vanilla, and it's hard to see some of them because uh, don't get stuck on this again. Yep, just let me go up the stairs. Now, obviously, this one's easy to see because it is in the dark, and I've run out of all my estuses again. But oh, I, you know, I, I did think that the um. This thief's gear did affect enemies line of sight onto you, or awareness of you and all that sort of stuff, but I've never used it to this extent. I kind of just used it for a little bit of a... like a lols. Oh, yep, missed that. And this is just trap all over the place. Like, the enemies added into that area is ridiculous. That Those things, like, they're simple, but... And they stack them up and they do little sneaky jabs and things. Which way am I going? Should not be here and thinking about what I'm trying to do next. Oh, an outrider knight there? That's new. That's rude as well. Can I not didn't want, want to do that? Did you fall down from somewhere? Surely you're not supposed to be there. Oh. I'm not gonna have enough health to make this jump. Hopefully you don't chase me. Yeah, that's really good. I really want you to stay there. That should be enough health. Enough health. I am really impressed by that thief's gear. That is just the best. Just the best. Oh, I close this off by going up to the NPC up there, the, the pyro guy. Yeah, so that was, oh yeah, yeah the second translucent, uh, or demon, what is it, demon, demon something. Uh, it's not a demon lord, I don't know. Demon, something big guy. He's not the. He's not the. Stranded the. Anyway, he's not the big fat fat one that's almost uh, extinguished. He's maybe just a chaos demon. Ah, uh, can't be right. I mean, they are technically, but that's don't know if that's his name. 
you give me good stuff. And you give me the first stuff of uh, boost fire damage, which is pretty good, except I don't really have any fire damage stuff. These, the order of all of the armor sets is really well done now. I do like the way they've done it. So they start off by doing damage um, increasing item sets and um, then I guess yeah, there must be status boosting, boosting by that. Then uh, what do you call them these things? There's stat boots there, boost there. They, they follow a, a set plan and it's easier to see. I remember earlier um, I would be doing my head in trying to work out how to, how to make a really good build for the PvP and that. Um, I'm feeling a whole lot safer. So good that you get that set of armor to increase your fire right when you get the fire clattering there. But again, I oh, want a heap of heap of uh, what do I call them? Re resin. So I'll do this little NPC. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah. So I just showed you that NPC, but I will hopefully run and survive in the last couple of minutes and get you to. Uh, additional part you can do before hitting this boss up. Can you, yes, spread yourselves out. This is a massive trap here, so I'm likely probably going to die here as well, actually. Convergence adds a ladder up to, no, obviously I'm in a ladder here, but it adds a ladder on the other side uh, to get to this area, so it's not such a one way in. Oh, I forgot that there's an NPC here. This NPC is pretty sick, and it gives you the Tenitris out of uh, the uh, Bloodborne. But I'm hopefully going to skip that. And yes, just jump straight in, get the cutscene, and and that'll close us out for this episode. Uh, again, thanks for following me along for the season, the series, I should say. Oh, there's no room in there for me. Yeah, this has been Colo Five. Playing Dark Souls 3 Cinder's mode. Ha, <laughs> that thing just invaded. <laughs> I'm all uh, translucent guy, but uh, yeah, thanks, and I'll um, see you later. Hopefully, stay well. Goodbye.